Thanks for stopping by Load Bearing Wall Pros. We're working in Plano, Texas in an older ranch style house taking out three walls. Project time takes just a little bit over 10 hours. Here we're getting started. We're starting to cut out some molding, trying to cautiously take that away so it can be reused if, if necessary. Stripping off sheetrock here. You never know what you're going to find behind sheetrock. This job didn't particularly have any surprises. Right over the top of Elio's head, up in the attic, we're going to install an 18 inch tall by 22 foot long double LVL laminated veneer lumber. That beam is going to run eight, 22 feet to Elio's left. It's going to bear on a triple 2x4 post to Elio's right. Right by his right ear, we're going to beef up that corner right there so it can accept the weight of the ceilings that are all hanging on it and the roof that is sitting on top of it. So the roof will be braced to the top of the LVL and the ceilings will be hanging from the bottom of the LVL. We are continuing to strip off sheetrock and then we'll start opening up the ceiling to get ready for the beams to go up into the attic. All the beams in this configuration are installed in the attic to give you a smooth flush ceiling when we're done. The beams that we're going to show you, the attic beams are coming up here in this little diagram. The camera is where the red dot is, Elio is where the yellow dot is big beam tees into a perpendicular beam and then the 45 degree beam represents another wall that's back through there. Now we're moving on to building a temporary wall there. You can see that it is supporting the weight of the room the camera's sitting in. We did that so we can cut the ceiling joists out to allow the LVLs to push up into the attic. So we've got a lot of guys on hands to push these heavy beams up in the attic. There's one, two, those are the two big ones. And then here comes the perpendicular part of the top of the T. We will push up the P part of the beam up, the, up in the attic here in just a minute. So lots of guys trucking material out. You can see we start demolishing this wall on the left side to expose the kitchen. Now we're able to take the temp wall down and we've got to open this ceiling up right in here to correct some of the structural stuff that's going on that was left behind when we took the uh, wall between the room the cameras in and the kitchen to the left. The wires are left behind will be addressed by the electrician. We leave them live so that you're not without lighting and that it makes it a little easier for him to sort out what's going on after the fact. So a little bit of cleanup here towards the end getting it all tidied up looking good. We leave it ready for your sheetrock. A before picture and then after we've removed all the walls an after picture makes the space a lot more usable. Brought to you by Load Bearing Wall Pros we remove load bearing walls to open up floor plans. Total working time 10 hours. Cost of the first beam $4,500 is our standard price. Each additional beam is $1,000. Total price of $6,500. Check us out at wallbegone.com. Wallbegone.com. We remove load bearing walls to open up floor plans.